So Penn can go first because he is a scientific person. Um, I'm practic I'm practical person. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. But uh, for a moment, uh, let's give the floor to our moderator of today, Somia. Welcome to Worldwide Green Project Butterflies event. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, so shall we start? Yeah, you're the okay. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all the respected dignitaries, distinguished speakers, honorable participants, and the loving audience present here from all around the globe. My name is Samia Parihar, and I welcome all to the Fantasy of Butterflies, the event organized by the Worldwide Green Project. Everyone wants to be beautiful and attractive and get everyone's attention like a butterfly. Butterflies are the most beautiful creatures among all insects and bugs. They are famous for their symmetrical wings that often display amazing colors and patterns. But the life of a butterfly is far more than their beautiful wings. As pollution, deforestation, habitat destruction, and climate change continue, butterflies face a threat. When we cut down local plants and trees and excessively use chemical pesticides, we damage the environment in which butterflies thrive. Butterflies are a very sensitive species. They can sense the slightest bit of habitat damage and pollution. Butterflies have specific plants on which they lay their eggs. These are called the host plants. Their caterpillars are very fussy eaters. They do not eat random species of plants. Each species of plants has only a few set of plants on which they lay their eggs and whose leaves their caterpillars eat. When we cut down and replace trees and plants that locally grow in our neighborhood or area and replace them with fancy plants and trees that are only for decoration, butterflies lose their host plants. So, if there are no host plants, there are no eggs, no caterpillars and no butterflies. Without host plants, the life cycle of a butterfly cannot be completed. Trees are very important, valuable, and necessary to our existence, as they have furnished us with two important life essentials, food and oxygen. Apart from basically keeping us alive, there are many other little and big benefits we get from trees. So trees are vital resources for the survival of all human beings. That is why Worldwide Tree Project organized this event today to give awareness about our earth, our home, and our future. It is my honor to invite the founder of Worldwide Green Project, Mr. Ankush Gawande from India, for opening remarks. Sir, the stage is yours. Thank you so much, Saumya. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, I would like to say something about project also before starting this uh, event. Uh, this project was started in uh, December 2020 with the aim of creating awareness among students about environment and tree plantation and tree uh, conservation. Slowly, slowly, uh, good thinking teachers from different countries of the world came together who liked this project and its purpose and implemented this uh, project in their schools. Today, this project has reached in 40 countries. Not only this, we also have 40 coordinators in 40 countries who regularly cooperate uh, with us to ensure proper uh, coordination in that country. While implementing uh, this project, through this project, the aim is to plant 1 million trees around the world by 2020 to 25, along with environmental awareness. Uh, along this, uh, we also organize various events uh, like uh, Environment Day and uh, Environment uh, uh, World Earth Day like this. And again, we will celebrate uh, various events like this as a part of uh, our butterfly, um, fantasy of butterfly. This is also a very uh, interesting uh, subject and interesting event uh, you all can enjoy here. and. 
uh, today's online event also the part of this uh, our uh, all various uh, events actually uh, not only the awareness about uh, environment we also uh, creating here and uh, uh, give opportunities to all student teachers to educational exchange program and many other events uh, our motto is save environment save future and also i would like to mention here our co-founder is Corina Sujda. she is from uh, romania she also contributed very well uh, she uh, she is very uh, helpful teacher from romania she is our uh, coordinator uh, and co-founder also so i would like to uh, uh, request and i would like to say every teacher around the world who uh, join here uh, to visit our website of the project and can join by register and implement this project in your country in your school with your student thank you so much enjoy this uh, our event and i would like to uh, thankful to everyone who helped in this project thank you so much over to you somya thank you sir for your, for sharing your valuable thoughts now let's move forward and invite our first guest speaker ms urifa from indonesia who will present you about butterfly life Ms. Urifa is an English educator starting international learning collaboration from kindergarten to senior secondary school in Indonesia with more than 10 countries. She's a part of ISC for some international schools in India, Pakistan and Nepal. She's also the part of Artifact Multicultural Digital Museum organized by the Blue Planet Global Education, South Florida. She's the member of the Global Educator and the writer of the book, Atakis Atlas Moth in the Backyard. She's also an active member of Indonesia uh, Butterflies Conservation and Indonesia Dragonfly Society, the trainer of hand embroidery for women empowerment community, and many more. Ma'am, please welcome to the stage. The stage is yours. <laughs> Ma'am, you're mute. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much, Somia, for a wonderful uh, introduction. And thank you, Ankus, for inviting me and Corina for assisting this. And Ben, thank you so much for supporting. Okay. You're and welcome. Ankus, would you please to share the screen? Okay. Just, just a minute. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, when I was a kid, I really love butterflies, but yeah, I was just a kid. I, uh, I don't have any uh, knowledge about this insect. And would you please to go to the second slide? Okay. okay. This is the illustration of my environment and my childhood. Yeah, of course it wasn't me because at that time, a uh, photograph is uh, a kind of luxurious property, and we, we cannot, we could not afford it. And yeah, my environment is so green and cool. You know, so many greenery, and there's so many butterflies too. And uh, without knowledge, of course, I got some accident with the caterpillar, because at that time, at the moment, I could not differentiate which caterpillar cause it with caterpillar is safe for for us okay next please so uh, as i grow and with the still little uh, information still little knowledge about uh, butterflies i observe my backyard and this is what, what i found uh, this picture, I took it when it was two, 2014. 2014. It means that eight years back, eight years ago. And similar with this one, uh, eight years ago. And then 
recently there are various more varieties of butterflies in my backyard and i really love to explore and observe every uh, cut, uh every butterflies or caterpillar that uh, came to my backyard and these are some of them next please okay and this is Can the recent start? butterfly yeah this is the recent butterfly that live in my backyard it's called the bird wings but i think ben will know about the scientific name and <clears throat> okay Angus, would you please to play the video once again okay yeah yeah this is the video okay, okay. so this is the pupae and the shape of the caterpillar and the shape of the butterflies yeah all have all circle happen in my backyard so i can i can observe them and i can see how they get uh, made and how they get uh, yeah laid egg and which one is their preferable food because as some yeah previously said that not every plant not all plant can be eaten by butterfly so butterfly will eat a certain plant not only tree but of course plants in general thank you next please and yet i understand that a butterfly is one of a priorities that live on land yeah it's uh, belong to sdgs number 15 because i think all creatures on land whether it is life and unlife creatures on land become one of the priorities to be conserved right yeah because butterflies is living thing but Butterflies also need unliving thing which is still clear like uh, mineral, water, and etc. So um, to, uh, we, we must uh, think not only about the living thing but also unliving thing that support their life. Next, please. And let's take a look at this lime butterfly metamorphosis. Uh, first, they were only eight and after about yeah in a different situation in a different condition the day that they need to have is a different it may be three days four days five days or six days but yeah around that time and after they had the first food is a shell and then this is the, their transformation from egg to caterpillar and they mold several times. Molting is uh, changing the skin because their skin is not flexible as our skin. So they must leave the old skin to get a new skin and more flexible so that they can grow better. And then after several days uh, actually the whole process take about uh yeah more or less one month till they had so this is the clear this it's male and female and then um, female laid egg and the egg hats become a caterpillar and the caterpillar will um shed six time one two three four five five time and the sixth time it turns into the chrysalis and after several days it will have become beautiful butterfly so during the process we we cannot interfere their the, the process otherwise they will fail so just let it let it be we just observe not not uh, to touch so often because maybe our hands 
uh, consists of a chemical substance that is dangerous for the caterpillar. So avoid touching during the process. Even though we grow uh, the the egg or the caterpillar in a captivity. Next, please. Okay, this is the video about the butterfly's metamorphosis. So please enjoy. Uh, back to the next uh, previous slide. Okay, yeah. I took it from National Geographic. It is the life cycles of uh, monarch's butterfly. So it's clearly that before hatching, it will eat the shell. And its first food is its own shell. And then it began eating the leaf. Uh, for monarch butterfly, it will eat uh, milk wheat. I think everywhere there's a milk. Wheat. And once it reaches the maximum size, it will turn into the cocoon. Okay, this is the process. And then after several days, it will have become a beautiful butterfly. And it looks silent inside, but there is a process. Then it, once it has the wings still wrinkled and wet, so it must uh, wait for an hour or more to strengthen or to try its wings. And once it's stronger, then it fly. Next, please. Okay, why butterfly matter? Let's take a look at this food web. See, the position of insects, and one of them is butterfly, is after plant. It means that uh, plant is a sub producer, food producer, and then the butterflies and other insects are the number one uh, consumer. It means that they provide food for other creatures like frog, rat, dragonfly, tra even dragonfly eat butterfly. Can you imagine that? <clears throat> Have you known? If you know about it, so I saw this, but my camera is not adequate enough to catch the moment. That's why I just found this uh, picture. And after this, uh, the next animal will provide for the bigger animals. So that's why a butterfly is very important in the food web because their cycles yeah, the, whole, the whole cycle from egg, caterpillar, cocoon, and butterfly itself, very important for the, uh, very important for food, as a food pri uh, provider for uh, bigger animals. So this is the example that this bird eats a caterpillar and this bird eats butterflies and other insects like ants eat eggs. Egg. And then this insect eat a caterpillar, and wasp also eat caterpillar, and then spider eat moth. It's only really moth, but it's also uh, catch the butterfly, and other spiders also eat uh, caterpillar. So never disturb this. Uh, process by breeding uh, insecticide or other chemical uh, substances. 
Next, please. And how can we help butterflies? Uh, first thing is we must spread the information about butterflies. Like uh, Worldwide Print Project do right now is the one tough the way to spread the information about the butterflies. And we, also, we can uh, spread the information to the society, to the classroom, <clears throat> and invite people to our backyard, discuss with them, and train the kids to raise uh, butterflies. Yeah. And spreading information for adult to adult and the two kids is very important because they will uh, collaborate each other and give information, support each other. For example, it's not, uh, we must uh, train or give the information not only to the kids. Mm -hmm but we also give the information to the parents. Otherwise, kids uh, will get the information, but parents will take it down because maybe they are afraid of caterpillar. They, they will say that, oh, butterfly is very beautiful, but I hate the caterpillar. But because it is impossible for us to see the butterfly if we uh, kill the caterpillar. So, the information is not only restricted to the kids, but also to the parents, so they can uh, collaborate, they can support for each other, and they get the correct information about the butterflies. And thankfully, there are, yeah, not many, but there are some people who are interested in the observing and raising butterfly in the backyard or in the community. Next, please. And the next step that we can help to to uh, to help butterflies are plant flowers and host plant. See, that's uh, why I differentiate flowers and host plant. As uh, moderator said previously, that flowers is a food resource for the butterflies, and host plant is a food resource for caterpillar. Uh, caterpillar and butterflies need the different types of plants. Uh, for example, in the pic in this picture, I plant zinnias to invite butterfly to come to my backyard. But if I want to see a butterfly life cycle in my backyard, I must plant a, a lime or any oranges tree. So once butterfly, uh, so I attract butterfly with flowers and they come, then they lay egg on the lime leaf and the process of life cycle happen and then I can observe and even rise more uh lime butterflies in my backyard and working by myself is tiring so i invite uh, children kids from my society to join this project it's not a, only a personal project but once they come to school they tell the stu uh, their teacher that's hey mom i also uh, did this uh, community project to observe butterflies and how to uh, invite butterflies and how to up, how to have uh, butterflies life cycle in our yard. So that's uh, another point for me. And then the next thing that uh, we can do to help butterflies keep our environment clean. It means that clean for any kind of pollutant clean for, from air pollution, clean from any pesticide, herbicide, and et cetera. That will help uh, butterflies survive in our environment. Uh, we don't need to, uh, to think big about the butterfly in the world. That's good. But what we can do in our society, that, because a small accent um, 
uh, has a big impact. So if a uh, small action do, do by one person and other small action do by uh, another person, that will be big actions, right? Small by many will be big. Okay, next please. Okay, uh, this is the technique where if we want to rise a butterflies or if we want to get the eggs fr uh, from the butterfly. So we can catch, we may catch a female butterfly from our environment and then we put them in the captivity and we provide flowers and also uh, flowers for butterflies and also host plant for the caterpillar. Uh, that's why I put some flowers here and also lime butterflies here. So uh, even though it's not the ideal place for them to uh, to light egg, but yeah. Uh, lime butterflies is ad very adaptive, so they still uh, want to like lay egg in the captivity. But uh, other butterflies, like previously, that's uh, bird wing butterfly, do not want to lay egg because uh, maybe they got stressed because the place is small for them. But yeah, lime butterflies just want to laid egg in the captivity and uh one butterflies may produce more than 200 eggs yeah and maybe you ask the question more than 200 eggs if uh, there are 10 butterflies it must be 2000 about 2000 butterflies how if they had to become a uh, caterpillar. So there will be 2,000 caterpillars. So remember that butterflies life cycle uh, provide food for other animals, other big animal like uh, wasp, birds, and even dragonflies and uh, spiders. So as long as you keep the environment in balance, so the population of one animal will not blow up. So they will keep in balance too. So it will cause, it will not cause danger to human. But in fact, we, we really want to take a part in their process. That's why uh it caused damage uh, in animals life and next please so this is one of my favorite quote today we are a uh, caterpillar but tomorrow will be a butterfly so don't lose hope we, we never know what tomorrow will bring and Next, Ankus. Thank you so much. I hope <coughs> I can give you uh, information. Thank you, Thank Ma. You. That was a really amazing presentation, which enlightened us all with, all with new knowledge about the butterflies. And thank you so much. Now, it's my pleasure to invite our next guest speaker, Mr. Ben Linozo from Tanzania. So, so, I mean, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. So, Amir, How are you? So, Mr. You... Ben, he has yes. a bachelor's degree in wildlife management and a diploma in wildlife management and also a certificate in it and a certificate of secondary education. He's a community-based conservation officer at Salus Kingipira sector and the assistant project coordinator from Tanzania branch. 
for Darwin Initiatives, a community-based biodiversity uh, conservation film for local action global impact project. He's also the member of Community Leaders Network, CLN, in Southern African development countries. Sir, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Benedict, please also, as a speaker say, so I think myself, I'm going to talk in uh, well, very short about butterflies, uh, because all is, is talking much about uh, this, and uh, most of the time, all is talking about the uh, process of butterfly, which is very good. But for my part, I'm going to talk about uh, conservation, ecological importance of butterflies. So I need to see my uh, Ankush, can you? Yes, I will see it. Sure. Okay. Is there visible? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, as it's seen there in the screen, that important of butterfly in environment or ecological change. Uh, <clears throat> you know, in our world now, we uh, we have a big challenge on the climate change, especially in uh, different areas. So this is because of the we lack uh, different uh, animal for pollinators and uh, like butterflies because butterfly is very very important insect for pollinators, especially in the farms and uh, other plants. So you can go for next slide. Okay. As next slide, please. Uh, okay, that's uh as the introduction says butterfly insect in the Marco Lepidoptera clade Lepulacella from the order Lepidoptera, which also include most adult butterfly have large often bright color wings and the conspicuous <coughs> return fly here we have two types we have a moss and the butterflies most of moss uh some of them is is not a uh, colorful but they have a rough color and most of them you can see in the night is uh flying in the night and uh moss is a uh, the kind of butterfly which is some of them are poisons compared to other butterfly which have uh, uh which have uh, large open bright colors wings and the flatten flighting most of most they flight but it's not much okay next Okay. So here uh, I'm going to talk about ecological status or ecological value of butterfly. No, come back. Yeah. Yes. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. okay. So this is a very, very important part of uh, ecological importance of butterfly. First of all, as I said before, is a uh, valo pollinators, the pollinate fruits and the vegetables. So here you can see butterflies, they play a very big role in pollinators, especially in the fruits and uh, vegetables. And these vegetables uh, is coming from the farmers, which people play but much, especially the farmers. Farmers, uh, like now uh people say we have a very very few uh 
uh, vegetables in a, in, a, in a village or anywhere else. This is because uh, pollinators are very few. And why pollinators are few? Because of we killing uh, butterflies, we killing as insects, which they play very, very big roles to the conservations. Also, butterflies contribute uh, to two hundred billion dollar to food economy worldwide. See, this. Uh, for example, in Tanzania, we have a project of butterfly selling butterflies from different areas in the, in the world. Yeah, uh, we. We have some different projects in Tanzania, especially in, uh, somewhere is called in Tanga, Tanga regions. So the people and the communities around there, we trying to make a different farms, small farms, as uh, all it shows how to prepare it. And then after manage it, we take all butterfly to Europe and the Americas for selling. So this is trying to, 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 to increase the, uh, to increase the GBP from different area, especially in Tanzania. Also food economy worldwide, because they're trying to provide a food for different species. So through that, uh, butterfly or insect, is very important for us. Also, health ecosystems. Butterflies, they show the health ecosystem. If the ecosystem is challenging, you can't see the butterflies. So most of people, uh, especially scientists, they try to use uh, uh, butterfly to make, to show if the this area or this uh, place is very healthy, especially in the uh, in the forest, if you you don't see the butterfly in the forest, that uh, directly you can see this area is not healthy. So you need to try to find another source uh, or another a way how to to maintain it and also biological indicators for butterflies uh, most of people uh, scientists is coming for biologicals so if you see the uh, in the uh, butterfly in somewhere you can see in biological these areas or the healthy it's better but it, you can see even in your body butterfly can come and then you can uh stay in your hands or somewhere as in your body it look like a biological it shows you are healthy it's not bad uh also butterflies and the most it is a part of food chain as uh, always explain about this uh butterflies is a uh, very very important for food chains uh because and then most of them birds they're using this butterfly for food which they can make them to continue for surviving can you go for next slide Purina exit i would like to uh, join her just a few minutes just a minute Purina. uh Okay, now, sorry, sorry to disturb you. Okay, now. Which slide? Slide number four, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. okay. Go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's there. 
So here we talk the education benefits for research and scientists. Make some studies to identify the health of the system and environmental in general. So as I said, most of uh, scientists and education people they're using butterfly to identify the health ecosystems. If the ecosystem or environment is clear, so uh, they're using most of the time they're using a butterfly. So here you can see how the value of butterflies, how the value of conserving a butterfly in the world, because we have we get uh, many different things value. For example, the researchers, students, and other people who are coming in the forest or in the national park or anywhere for studying, so they're using a butterfly. And here we must Hello, Ben. I think uh, she lost the connection. Yes. Uh, maybe. So, Urifa, can you uh, continue this slide? <laughs> yes, please. Please try. Please try to continue. Unmute yourself, please. Okay. Yeah. Please go to the next slide. Okay. And then another benefit for the butterflies for in the uh, research is students can participate on conserving butterfly and other beneficial insects by mobilizing them and make sense citizens and on the issue of butterfly and other beneficial insects for telling them unique story about butterfly. For example, butterfly, they make us happy. Yeah. Well, I think in this uh, point, yeah, not only butterflies make us happy, but butterflies give uh, some inf uh, ideas uh, for the writer, for the composer to write a poem, to compose a uh, song, and to draw, and also to make a card with the butterflies too. And uh, naturalist and veteran broadcaster, Sir David Attenborough say that spending time in nature, even just watching butterflies in the home garden is good for our mental health. And this is one of uh, a favorite quote for, from him. Uh, just to Mr. Make Mr. David is one of my favorite person, a naturalist person. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, he's he's coming again. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> yeah, I think the network <laughs> problem. It's Sorry. Okay. It's, okay. it's okay, no problem. Okay. I'll share I'll share again. Mm -hmm. Which uh, which is this slide? I think uh, yeah. number of five is this down. Uh, no. Is this? Yeah, this is okay. Go uh... okay, please explain. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, I think this is already explained. So next slide. Okay. Next. Yeah. Okay. So, so here we can try to think how student can participate on conserving butterfly and other beneficial insect by moving. So what we can do here we can mobilize the uh, students we can tell them and teach them as always talking how the importance of butterfly and how to to to, to, to conserve the butterfly so I'm, I'm i'm sure the students especially the lower class they really really interesting on these stories so this one if we can teach them will be uh a very good person for the next years to conserve the butterflies and uh for example uh the naturalist and the veterinary broadcast david attenborough if you you hear this person 
or you can follow this lovely attend box says spending time in nature even just watching butterfly in a home garden is a good for our mental health so you can see now how the importance of butterfly and the very uh, special one mr sir david attenborough also appreciate on this so you can try to watch the short documentaries on the david attenborough about this the next slide okay uh here we can see there are many species of butterfly almost 20,000 species of butterfly with most living in tropical rainforest including tanzania eastern arc mountain so in tanzania we have along the eastern arc mountain which we have where very good numbers of the butterfly and the most of the uh, project and butterfly here is coming from along the eastern arc mountains and the people uh help them people to get uh, a good life to get uh, money to get uh, uh any any equipment or anything which they need from this project although now the government is stopping this uh, the government of tanzania is stopping this uh, live animal trade which now is bringing for us a very very uh, big challenge to the communities which they have these farms but we try to talk now with the government if they can try to open it again because the project is trying to help the life road of the people okay next slide yeah i think it is very short and here you can see like um, we are different butterfly and moss so you can see in the middle there uh first line yes first line uh second line middle is the moss and the other one is a butterfly which you can see and this is a type of butterfly in tanzania although we have uh, a lot a number of butterflies here thank you very much Wonderful. Amazing presentation, sir. Cannot express my happiness of hearing so many new things about these wonderful small species. Thank you so much. Now, it is finally the time <clears throat> I invite our lovely co founder, Mrs. Corina Sushta from Romania, to have closing remarks about the event. Welcome, Ma. Thank you so much, Somia. It's a uh, so big pleasure to be today here and to hear a lot of uh, new information about butterflies. Rifa, if you are going through uh, YouTube ch chat box, you will see that our friend Nadezhda said, um, butterflies just loves you. So you must <laughs> teach us how to make butterflies to love us all because uh, yes, we love uh, the butterflies. Worldwide Green Projects um, joining today, all of us, for a very interesting topic, the butterflies. What we know about butterflies is that they are so, so pretty little insect. And um, the flowers on warm uh, summer days uh, the most come out mostly in the night and fly about our lamps in the evening. The moths are very much like the butterflies. Both belong to the same family of insects. There are thousands of kind of butterflies. They are small and large. Their wings are very beautiful. They are of bright colors as we can see in your uh, both presentations, red, blue, green, yellow, white, black. All those things um, make me to, to think about something. We all are different. We all have different colors. We all have different thoughts and uh, different weight, different everything, culture and traditions. 
But after all, we are like the butterflies. They are all together. They love each other and they love human beings as we do as well. Thank you both of you for this wonderful day. Really, I'm very inspired by your both presentations. And uh, I hope uh, this is not the end because uh, Nadezhda said one of her students has butterflies at home. So maybe we will continue <laughs> like a serial with another yeah, episode definitely. of butterflies. Who knows? Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sure. Somia, well, over to you. you. Yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your lovely words. It was a unique event by the Worldwide Dream Pro Project, and it's my privilege to moderate such an amazing event. No words to express my gratitude towards our guest speakers for the day. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks to Ankur Sir and Karina Mam for giving me this opportunity. And once again, thanks to all our great audience. One minute. Uh, I would like to say some things again. Uh, uh, yes. yes. So I would like to thank, firstly, our both speakers. Who both are amazing. Uh, I hope all our, uh, our yes, definitely. You are uh, explaining very nicely and it's very nice and very ex amazing uh, experience to us because we don't know uh, about uh, everything uh, butterfly. We know only uh, one thing, butterfly is very beautiful, but uh, not more, not more. Uh, you both explain very well. I hope our uh, all the um, participant who seen this uh, event happy and all students our teachers also happy uh, because you explain very nicely thank you so much i uh, sorry to interrupt you i can see in the chat box of on uh, youtube that the link is invalid it's not working so um let's share again with the people and let's make sure that they can fill the link the form and get okay. the one certificate second. i'll send once again there okay uh, again, I would like to just yes, minute, just few minutes. But when I would like to um, say a big, big thank you to our beautiful and wonderful and inspiring girl, Somia, yes. who always support us in each uh, event yes. we organized. Thank you, Actu Somia. Thank actually, you so much. actually, see how uh, much and more study she is in uh, 10 standard only. Uh, but he, she is ready to uh, uh, moderate this event. Thank you so much once again to you. And and I would like to announce here one thing uh, for the Soumya, uh, as per her contribution in our project from last two years, uh, I would like to announce uh, her name as an international student coordinator for the World Wide Green Project. Ooh, yes. Thank actually, you so much. Actually, it's a surprising for her, and uh, actually, we have forty countries for forty uh, forty coordinators for forty countries. But the first student uh, coordinator is uh, Soumya from now, and not only for her country, he's international coordinator for the worldwide green project probably. for students. Yes. Congratulations to you, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I cannot yours, describe how happy I am now. Thanks yeah, a lot to all of you. You get you your certificate. Big. You get your well, certificate soon on your uh, email or WhatsApp. Okay. So congratulations once again, to you too. And thank you so much, all of you, all dear uh, speakers uh, and all dear uh, participants. Thank you so much. We meet again. We will meet again uh, like this uh, great sessions, like this great uh, amazing events. We will uh, again uh, organize. Uh, such People like still this. said that link is not working. I don't know why. Let's not uh, okay. close the meeting till the. Uh, we uh, don't, I think, don't check. I, check I think you also check the link. I, I have checked, but. Uh, it's also not working for me. Okay, I just valid. I'm resend again. 
uh, i would like to say here uh, if anyone uh, can't open this link we will share again on our official page world by green project facebook page or, and a facebook group so you can uh, fill there easily i just try to open so let's let's uh, share our facebook page link yeah. and people will see the link of uh, okay just a minute i'll try the link is uh, uh, open here to me it's uh, yeah. it's ready it's ready to fill everyone okay if anyone not i just shared the facebook page link so please follow us follow us on facebook and uh, the link will be shared there yes thank you all for joining us thank you so much thank okay. you so much once thank again you very much. save environment save future join the world by Gain project bye bye thank you thank so you. much bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. okay